You know, we're starting a new year again this year. And there seemed like last year there was a lot of people that lost hope and desperation, and they were just desperate, you know. They just didn't know where to turn. They tried to look for government to help, and the government's failing them. They look for other people to help. And it seems like they, they just have so much doubt that they have so much loss of hope. Mm-hmm. Now, now we can talk about this generally, that, you know, as a collective body, as our nation, as the world and everything, but we need to understand each one of us sometimes feel like we have doubt and hope too. Mm-hmm. We have, we just... We lost our hope and in uh, with things that's going around because, uh, well, maybe family situations, it may be monetary situation, it might be health situation. And so we almost need to get back to basics, Boy. very much back, back to basics. Mm. Well, in Colossians 1.7, mm. and I'm just going to use this as the kickoff, but it's... We will come to First Peter first. After that, uh, Colossians one seven, Christ in you, the hope of glory. We have to understand as born again Christians, it's the Christ in us that gives us hope. We have a tendency to look for people, look to institutions. We looked for other sources than Christ himself that is our source and he is our hope. And it is Christ in us is that hope in glory. When we say hope in glory, that we know know eventually that we're going to be in his presence and in his glory. But also he will rise us from circumstance to circumstance to raise us from glory to glory to glory is when we learn to trust him Mm -hmm. and thank him and praise him when he holds us up, when he takes us in, when he delivers us. So we understand that. Now, I want us to look at 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 23. 1 Peter Chapter 1, verse 23. And just keep it open to that because I'm going to go to a couple other verses, but keep it open to that that passage. Again, 1 Peter 1, 3 reads, God's child, for I am born again of the incorruptible seed of the word which liveth and abideth forever. God's child, for I am born again in an incorruptible seed of the world, of the word which liveth and abideth forever. That is what we need to speak over ourselves. But we see that in 1 Peter 1 3 says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy has begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Mm. Now we see here that I made this statement that we are born again of an incorruptible seed. But we are under the seed Boy. of Jesus Christ himself, the, the word. Amen. That we are reborn. And by us being reborn in Christ living in us, Amen. we are have abundant mercy because he, he has begotten us again. Mm. That we are reborn in him. We become that new creature. And by becoming that new creature in him, we have Jesus Christ in us, which is that hope of glory. And we have to understand that we have to realize that we are a different creature, that we do not lose hope. We Mm -hmm. gain hope. 
Because Christ is in us. We gain hope. See, the outside world wants to take us all this hope out of us and put the fear in us and take all this away and say, well, there's no hope. But long as Christ lives in us, we have constant hope. Constant hope. That as, in fact, it says not a constant hope, but a lively hope. Amen. A lively hope. Mm -hmm. See, before you were saved, you were dead in your sins. Totally dead in your sins. So your hope was dead. Yes. Your hope was totally dead. Mm -hmm. You didn't have any way of getting out. But when Christ comes in us, and we're totally begotten again or born again. And he brings us in with that lively hope. That hope is in us. Because Christ dwells in us. We have that hope. Amen. So when we start to lose that hope. Because of all the circumstances that are going around with us. Yeah. We need to understand that Christ lives us. And he's that hope of glory. Yes. So we have that access, access to him because he's already in us. We have that hope because that hope is in him. So we look at this and we said, uh -huh. okay, he'll give us abundant mercy. He gives us that mercy when we think we've lost hope. Yeah. We've, we get in desperation. You know, we have to constantly remember because we've been born again and because Lord. we're a new creature, Lord. a new creature that just be, when Christ was raised from the dead, we are also raised from the dead also. Amen. We're no longer dead in our sins, but we're alive with a lively hope, Lord. a lively hope. Mm -hmm. When circumstances seem to get us down and the world seems to be crushing us or people are saying things against us or our health tries to get to us, we have to understand that that Christ in us that had power over sin and the grave and yes. the death, Glory. that that same power is for us. Glory. And that hope of Christ in us will be able to rise us over every circumstance that we go through in this life because we will be raised up to be with him in glory. Amen. We have to understand this. Now, if we look at uh, John 12, 24, and Jesus is talking in a parable here. And the parable was this. John 12, 24 reads, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, it biteth alone. But if it die, it shall bringeth fruit forth much fruit. Now, scientifically, if we look at <coughs> the seed corn, it, it has to die on the outside. Mm. And inside, the moisture germinates that seed inside. So we need to die to self we need to die to despair. Boy. We need to die to doubt. Yes. We need to die to fear. So that seed will germinate in us. Mm -hmm. That we will be able to bring proper fruit that God has planted in us. Mm -hmm. So we see this, that we understand that he says, unless... We die to self. 
We die to the circumstances that we go through and look to him as our source. He will germinate in us that little spark of liquid that is in the living water mm -hmm. yeah. that will learn, will germinate to make that seed grow. But you have to die to self and die to the doubts and die to the fear mm -hmm. and die to all those other things. So things would germinate instead of hanging on mm -hmm. to all those things nice. that fear, doubt, that loss of hope is stiff hanging. We need to die to it and let that outside exterior die and let the inner part, which Christ is in us, germinate and give us hope Amen. and give us going. Amen. So we go on and I said, look at 1 Peter 1.4. 1 Peter 1.4. It says, to an inheritance incorruptible, undefiled, that faith not away is reserved for you in heaven. So what did we say at first? Christ in you is the hope of glory. So when we're going through all these things and we learn to die to self, and Christ living us, in us is that hope of glory, that we can also say that we have an inheritance that's incorruptible, that we are not bound by sin anymore. Nah. See, that seed <laughs> is sin. And we need to realize that we are given a seed that is incorruptible, that it is to give us life that helps us to produce fruit because through this, through the mercy that he has given us and the salvation he gives us, we become born again with that incorruptible seed. Amen. Incorruptible. Now, sometimes we're corrupted because we choose to be corrupted. That's why we need to go and confess. Mm -hmm. So we understand this. And remember, no matter what we're going through, mm -hmm. remember, Christ in us is the hope of glory. And we have, as it says, that <coughs> we're going to have things that are undefiled. <coughs> we're going to have things that is an inheritance. Things that won't fade away. We have that hope. It's always there. But it's also reserved for us in heaven. Because we are begotten of him. We're new creatures. And it's reserved. See, that's the thing. We can get down in ourselves. I mean, every one of us probably have got down at least once or twice this week. If you haven't got down at least once, you know, you might say, you're, 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 I might, I won't call you a liar, but you know, that's probably, you're not being very truthful to yourself. Because Satan's going to try to get you down and make you lose hope. He's going to attack you in every area of your life that you allow him to be. Now, he'll try to attack you, but if you don't allow him mm -hmm. and you plead the blood of Jesus and quote the word and do the name of Jesus, he's defeated. And we have to understand that he gives us, look at verse 5, 1 Peter 1, 5. Who are kept by the power through faith and the salvation, ready to reveal in the last time. Who is that? Boy. Who is he talking about? He's talking about us. Amen. That do not lose hope. That we are kept by the power of Amen. God. Thank you, Lord. Yes. We're kept through our faith. Amen. 
But like I said the other day, it's also not only faith, it's when these things attacked us to try to corrupt us, which is sin, is that we have the faith and it, we get into that temptations and, and we get into the things that are trying to pull us down. Mm. Is it we wow. have faith that God will protect us, but we also have to have trust that he's doing what he says he's going to do. So, I want us to look one last verse. It's Romans 6.6. 6. Romans 6.6. 6. With knowing all this that we've done, we look at this. Knowing this, that the old man is crucified with him. Man. That the body of sin might be destroyed. Mm. Henceforth, henceforth, we should not serve sin. Mm. Because of our self addition and self gratification, <laughs> we serve sin. Sometimes we shouldn't. <coughs> My problem is I get temptation and a thought comes in my mind and then I don't capture that thought real quick and it goes on and on and on. And then I have to repent real quick because my mind gets, you know, bum fuzzled. And don't tell me you never get bum fuzzled. <laughs> you know, don't tell me sometimes you don't doubt. But we have to realize that Jesus born in us and we crucify that old man that old man that tries to pull us back in our own selfish gratification mm. wow. we cannot serve God and sin at the same time either you're going to serve sin or you're going to serve God so we need to look at this is that we are reborn. Mm. Yes. And our seed that is planted in us is Christ in us, is that hope of glory. And that seed in us mm. will produce if we will allow it to happen. Mm. So what I'm saying tonight is this. Mm. Is that what seeds are we planting? Mm. Are we allowing other seeds into our lives that want to grow and take us from the knowledge of Jesus Christ? Wow. Does Do we let seeds plant into our life mm. that will keep us from thinking of the end results? To keep us off our focus and looking to Jesus in all things mm -hmm. and looking for the great reward that he has for us. We should not ever get down, which we do. But do we say, Lord, you are my hope and glory. Because Christ lives in me, that's that incorruptible seed in me. Yeah. So, Father, we just thank you, you know, that you cared enough for me that you planted Glory. your dear son in us yes. so that we can grow and not lose our hope. Because that's what it's all about, people. Amen. Who do we serve? Mm. The corruptible seed or the incorruptible yeah. seed, which is Christ Jesus that lives in us. Yeah. Glory. Mm. Let us pray. Father, first of all, we want to thank you that you died for us and yeah. sent your son to die for us 
as an incorruptible seed that knew no sin, but took that sin upon him for us if we believe and confess him as our Lord and Savior. That we can receive that hope and glory. Father, we just thank you right now. But Father, give us the strength and let that seed be manifested in our life. Thank you. That we'll produce that fruit, that joy, Lord. that fruit of gentleness and kindness, that fruit of long suffering. Father, that fruit that gives us wisdom. And Father, thank you for that seed that we can still have that hope. Because when we crucify our flesh, we are also raised up as Jesus was. Father, be with us and guide us to all truth. And that we will not lose hope. And if we can go out and we be so positive in what we believe that we're able to spread the hope to other people that are desperate. And the only thing they need is that incorruptible seed of Jesus Christ. Help us to spread that. In Jesus Christ's name, amen.